Well, today, Clark County officials will discuss exactly what happened in the moments leading up the deadly shooting of Jorge Gomez. He was killed by police during local George Floyd Floyd protest last year and 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joins us live right now at the Clark County Government Center where activists are now set to rally in just a few hours. Sean. Yeah, Kalina, this is exactly where protesters will gather ahead of that formal fact finding review into the police shooting death of Jorge Gomez during George Floyd protests last year. Several groups are calling his death an excessive use of force. Gomez's family is pointing to surveillance video that they released showing the 25 year old walking around with a pistol that he had converted into a long barrel gun. The family says that video also shows Gomez running away from officers while they fire less than lethal rounds at him near the federal building. Before this video was released, Police said that several other responding officers saw Gomez raise his rifle towards officers and they shot and killed him. But attorney Dave Gallipo says that the video shows otherwise. It was another clear use of excessive force by the police. And in this case, again, a person of color. Metro Police released a statement saying that the video released by the family appears to be one that they provided to family members. The statement says that it is just one of many pieces of evidence that they are reviewing. It will likely be included in today's fact finding review. The family wants DA, DA Steve Wolfson to prosecute the officers involved, something that he has refused to do up to this point. Now the rally is set to begin here at 730 this morning. The review is set to begin at eight and I'll bring you all of the information that is provided from both of these events coming up at our newscast at 11 o'clock this morning. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.